Nick's extraordinary physical development gives one the appearance that he must train like a freak, which is easy to understand, and that is also unquestionably true. Nick Walker's training program uses a variety of activities to train in various directions. He is able to effectively activate his muscles as a result, which accelerates the growth of all of his muscles. Nick makes sure to train two or three different muscle groups during each workout. He typically only works out most of his muscle groups once each week. And the reason for this is that the amount of stress he puts on his muscles throughout his intense training Today, we are going to see how Nick trains his 23 inches of giant arms and will learn something new. The bodybuilding star admits he doesn't like to overtrain arms. With an emphasis on avoiding joint injuries and enhancing muscle growth, Walker is adamant his sets of three keep him in healthy condition. He starts with the rope push-down exercise. Rope pushdowns are the first exercise Walker performs in his arm workout to warm up his elbow joints. It's essential to warm up the joints if you want to avoid pain and injuries. And then after the rope pushdown exercise, he does seated dips on plate loaded machine. The bodybuilder does dips. On a plate-loaded machine using the overload principle, he does one exercise before immediately moving on to the following one, and then he performs overhead cable triceps extension. Walker used a cable machine for this workout and put in some solid sets. His next exercise is barbell curls, two sets of 21. To perform barbell curls correctly, stand with your feet shoulder width apart, hold a barbell with an underhand grip at shoulder width, and keep elbows close to your sides. Initiate the curl by contracting your biceps, exhale and curl the barbell upward towards your chest. Squeeze your biceps at the top, lower the barbell in a controlled manner while inhaling, maintaining tension on your biceps. Complete the full range of motion, straightening your arms fully at the bottom and contracting your biceps fully at the top. Maintain good posture, engage your core and avoid arching your back or using momentum. Control the tempo throughout the exercise. Start with three sets of eight, 12 repetitions and adjust weight and reps based on your fitness goals. Proper form is vital for effectiveness and injury prevention. And then Nick moved on to the next exercise, cable curls, three sets of 10, 12 reps. To perform cable curls correctly, stand facing a cable machine with an underhand grip on a straight bar or handle attachment at the low pulley. Keep your feet shoulder width apart and a slight bend in your knees. Keep your elbows close to your sides and stationary throughout the exercise. Exhale as you curl the bar upward, contracting your biceps without swinging. Squeeze your biceps at the top and briefly hold the position. Inhale as you slowly lower the bar back to the starting position, maintaining tension on your biceps. Complete the full range of motion, fully extending your arms at the bottom and fully contracting your biceps at the top. Aim for three or four sets of 10, 15 repetitions, adjusting the weight to challenge your muscles while maintaining proper form. Avoid using your back or shoulders to lift the weight and maintain proper posture. To get a bigger peek on his biceps, he also performs machine preacher curls, three sets of 12 reps. Machine preacher curls are an effective way to isolate and build bicep strength and size. Incorporate them into your biceps workout routine. It allows you to get a big biceps peak like Arnold's biceps. Nike also likes to do cross cable pushdowns for triceps contraction, three sets of 12 reps. Doing some crossbody triceps pushdowns was the third and last triceps exercise. Instead of going too heavy on these, Nick advises that you concentrate more on the squeeze and contraction. If your gym doesn't have a thin cable machine, you can just work one arm at a time. He utilizes it to work both arms simultaneously. Nick also do hammer curls exercise for well-developed biceps and forearms. One set of 30 reps. 
Hammer curls are a versatile exercise that complements traditional bicep curls by targeting different muscle fibers and promoting overall arm strength. Include them in your arm workout routine to build balanced and well-developed biceps and forearms. As with any exercise, use proper form and consider seeking guidance from a fitness professional if you're unsure about your technique. His last workout to get a big guns like his is incline overhead dumbbell extensions, one set of 30 reps. Inclined overhead dumbbell extensions are an excellent exercise for targeting the long head of the triceps, helping to build strength and size in the back of the upper arms. Incorporate them into your triceps workout routine and consult a fitness professional if you have any concerns or are unsure about your technique. So what are your thoughts on Nick's arm workout routine? Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section. This is for the day. Remember to subscribe to VD Muscle and hit the bell icon for future updates. Also like and share this video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay motivated and stay fit.